Hey Divas, welcome to a new video from the Naturally Mature One. Today I'm going to discuss all my favorite products I use to do a wash and go. These are my favorite products for the year of 2018. I hope that you enjoy. Please share, like, comment, and subscribe. Here I am wetting my hair down and because I have low porosity hair, it takes some time for the water to soak through, so I have to help it through by pushing it down. Now I am about to wash my hair and cleanse it with the G Camille Rose Ginger Sweet Ginger Cleanser. Take a little bit of butter, I say a quarter size amount. And I'm going to cleanse only my scalp. I'm not going to go all the way through with it. Just going to do the scalp. And that feels so amazing and it smells awesome. Now I'm going to rinse it out. Make sure I get it all out. Majority of it out. Really all of it out. And now I'm going to use the No Poo Decadence from Diva Curl. Take about four pumps. And I'm going to start with my scalp. And even with the No Poo Decadence from Diva Curl, it does not lather up like a cleansing shampoo. It does not have a lot of suds. But it does cleanse your hair really well and it's very moisturizing to your hair. As I stated, I'm only going to hit the scalp first. And hopefully when the water rinse down through it, it will hit the rest of my hair, the ends. I'm going to do it again. And this time, I hit the scalp, I'm going to go down to the ends and go through and try to detangle the ends with it because it has a lot of slip and it will allow me to pull on and it smells amazing. This no poo has a linen smell, like a clean fresh smell scent to it. So um, as I stated before, it has a lot of slip and I'm able to go through my hair. Well, I rinsed it out, now I'm going to try to Diva Curl One Decadence Conditioner. This is an amazing moisturizer. Um, I'm going to section my hair and go through with it. I do not have clips. I use a lot of rubber elastic rubber bands because I never can find the clips when I need them. So I always just keep my elastic rubber bands on my hand. I am going through to um, each section with my fingers detangling. I don't use combs when I'm in the shower. I just use my fingers and it's, the slip is amazing and it's going through with no problem. I get a little bit more water because with Diva Curl, it's best to use a more water as possible. I just finished cleaning for three to five minutes and take washing the rest of my body. So I decide now I can walk, cleanse out or wash out the conditioner. Um, I've washed my hair, I conditioned it, and um, now I'm sitting here ready to deep condition. Um, I try to deep condition once a week, as I stated um, in previous videos. Um, my favorite deep conditioner is Diva Curl mm, Melt into Moisture. Love this. Um, has a great smell, great slip. Um, it's easier to detangle my hair with this and it gives me a lot of moisture. So I'm really loving this now. It costs a lot of money. I say it's on the high end when it comes to moisturizers or deep conditioners. Um, I believe this is $36. I got it from Ulta. Um, but it lasts a long time. You can see 
I bought this uh, a while back. I've used it now, I say six or seven times, and I still have at least half of it in here. So, um, and I use it weekly. So this will last me a while. So it has great ingredients. There's no um, silicones, uh, sulfate free, paraben free. So great, great, great deep conditioner. Take these glasses off, they're fogging up. Ugh. Okay, now take my microfiber towel down and look at the definition I get from just using the Camille Rose Ginger Cleanser and the Diva Curl Shampoo, no, no poo, it's a nice shampoo, but no poo, and the One Decadence Conditioner. A lot of curl, a lot of definition. My hair is soft, it smells amazing. Smell that fresh cleanness, like it's a fresh, like reminds you of linen, but not really linen. Just felt like cleanness. All right, I'm gonna separate my hair in fours. Pull my little elastic bands I use. I don't use clips all the time because I can't never seem to find them when I need them. I mean, they be in my face when I don't need them. As soon as I go look for them, I can't find them. So I always use my elastics because I always keep them on my arm. Just in case I want to pull my hair up into a bun or something. So, separate it into fours. And what I like to do is most of the time I will do two on this side, two on that side, and then these two up here. So I'll get two, four, six separate um, sections. I utilize about that much. And I separate. Look how the slips go right through. Put some on my ends. That's the most, that's the oldest part of your hair. Then I just twist it. But I noticed that my hair started getting um, dry because my hair, for some reason, dries very fast after I come out the shower. And I use a microfiber towel. I will use my water bottle to um, drench the area that I'm putting the conditioner in. So the because Diva Curl um, products works better when your hair is um, drenched with water. So, get my sprayer. And I got this from Amazon. Yeah, Amazon. I think I only paid like eight or nine dollars for it. Great bottle, love it. One thing I love it is my pattern and y'all know I love me some zebra. It's my baby sitting up there on my dryer. This much. way through from the root to the end. I try not to put too much on my root, but mostly on my hair. Well, my, not my roots, but my scalp. Put it mostly on my hair. I don't want to clog up my scalp with the conditioner. I want my hair to get the conditioner, not my scalp. A lot of people want to put it right there on their scalp. I try not to. I try, try to put it on my roots to the ends. On the other side, spray it down with a little bit of water. You got to dry some. You know, I told you, Diva Curl works best when you put water drenched. Your hair is drenched. This much. Separate. Put it on my ends first. To my roots, pull it through. Great slip. And I'll show you later on how much hair I lost because what I do, I like to keep up with how much hair comes out of my head when I, um, how much hair I lose when I shampoo and condition my hair in the shower. I put it like a a stopper um, drain on my shower that catches my hair so it lets me know how much hair I, I'm losing 
So if I notice I lose a lot, I try to do something different. Or I might not be using that um, those products. As I stated in the previous um, videos, I recently was diagnosed with breast cancer. So I'm trying to really keep up with how much hair I lose. So I can let my oncologist know. Do I need to worry about the medication that I'm taking now or the treatments I'm using now? But right now, thank God, I'm not losing as much as I could be losing. There is a God. He's amazing and he's He's just He's just amazing. He is faithful. God is so faithful. People I would have never thought two years ago that I would be doing what I'm doing now. That I would step out on faith and just try this. Because a lot of people, um, to do this, you got to be vulnerable. You got to open yourself up. And I realized this, if I can survive cancer, I can survive anything. I can survive what people say about me, what they think about me. Because really, in all actuality, God is the only person I'm worried about how he think about me. He's the only one that's going to judge me. That last moment of the time when I got to go to those pearly gates. So I really don't care what other people think about me. So I'm going to do what I like. And I like doing videos on YouTube showing off my natural hair and learning about my natural hair. And if you love it, please subscribe and share and comment and give me some great ideas. Because if I can survive breast cancer, I can survive people in their comments and their negativity. But I want my positive natural divas to come back talk to me, um, share this journey with me, give me some great topics and ideas that you want to see, and just come back and let's enjoy this. I'm doing this not to be a prophet or to do anything, I mean, make money off of this. I'm doing it because I like doing this. I love the natural hair movement. I am so glad because I also did it when I went um, natural in 09. It's because I was having some other issues with cancer when I thought I had um, cervical cancer and I had to get a hysterectomy. But thank God the biopsy came back where it wasn't. And then I was doing some research and looking into some things and reading a lot of journals um, from doctors and physicians where they said that they believe that a lot of chemicals that we use um, causes cancer and when it comes to black women we were using a lot of these box relaxers and I'm not saying they give you cancer I'm not saying that it's just what the journals me saying that they may call them these fibroid problems we were having because I had some major fibroid problems when it came to um my uterus and um cervical cervix and um my fibers were getting worse and worse and I was having horrible horrible menstruals and it was just not pleasant at all but then I stopped um, doing it and I stopped having the fibro problem but then I was worried about cervical cancer so I had to um, get a hysterectomy and yes I was young when I got my hysterectomy and I really was I, I mean I was scared I was young but I got it done I feel much better I'm not worried anymore about whether I'm going to have cervical cancer but now then I found out I got breast cancer so let me tell you something after all of that, if I can survive all of that and be able to talk about it and know that God has my back, I can do anything. As they say, I'm a survivor. I'm a warrior. I'm in this fight and I'm going to live my life the way I want to live it. So that's why I thought I'll share my stories, my journey when it comes to my natural hair, when it comes to beauty, when it comes to surviving um, getting old or getting older um as i stated before i'll be hitting the big five and because he does he said he was faithful and to believe in him and have faith i am going to celebrate every minute of this life and doing what i like to do so now i'm going to put on my plastic cap plastic cap and as I stated I have I don't like sitting under that dryer when I'm doing my deep conditioner so I went and brought me a wonderful I love it 
hothead. Can you see that, guys? It's called the hothead. Um, you put it in the microwave for 45 seconds, and then you re you um, turn it inside out because it's reversible, and you put it on this side for 45 seconds, and then you take it and you turn it back in and out, and you put it back on this side for 45 seconds, and you can do it back and forth from side to side. You do it for like three times for 45 seconds, and you put it on your head, and it will give you 30 minutes of heat to condition your hair. And I'm able to walk around the house, do some chores, and the guy sits still under the hot dryer and sweating like a pig. So I'd rather do this when I do my deep conditioner. I'm back. I um, washed out the deep conditioner. And let you see the definition I have. Oh my God, look at it, look at it. My hair is soft, it smells amazing. I wish the feel would smell a vision on it because the smell is amazing so now I'm going to style my hair with my favorite styling products um, I usually do my favorite leave-in is the Paul Mitchell the original Paul R Mitchell but I'm not going to use this today I'm going to try to use um, that I tried about a week ago is the Camille Rose lavender whipped cream um, leave-in. I tried it and I, I kind of liked it, but I was kind of off about it. I didn't know how to take this. You now you just get a new friend and you don't know how to take them. But this one right here is my new friend and I don't know how to take them. So I'm going to try her again because in the first video I did it with, it, it felt moisturizing, but it just made my hair feel strange. So I'm hoping that with this, me trying it again with my favorite Diva Curl products, and just to see how it does, because I know with my um, Paul Mitchell what I get. My hair just be volume and it's stay moisturized. So I'm going to try, but I don't have a lot of shine with this. So I'm going to try this and see what this gives me some shine. Um, and then I'll let, we'll see if I'll be using this again, because this is my second try with this. But this and the cleanser were kind of wishy-washy. Well, I'm going to try them again. So I'm going to give it a second chance. You know, I, you know I'm going to try again with it. So I'm going to try this leave-in. First, you know, before I do that, I better strip, um, section my hair up the way I want. My hair is still damp. You can see the comb is going through with no problem. I'm going to section my hair off the way I like to section when I'm doing my styling. Guys, um, natural hair is a job. Anybody saying being natural is easy is lying to you. I'm going to put on my leave-in conditioner. As I said, Camille Rose, we're going to give this a second chance. I don't give up on products. I always try to do it more than once. It is the whipped cream leave-in. Okay, it's very thick. And it smells just like lavender. Go here, put it in, I rake from the top to the ends, tops to the ends, top to the end. Use your hair very defined. There in my kitchen, as they used to say as a child. Get that kitchen, girl. Get my edges. Look at the definition, guys. Can you see the definition? Hair so soft. Now I'm going to use my Diva Curl Believe In. It's called Believe In Texture and Volumizer. It's a miracle curl plumper. I use this because this helps give me volume. I have very fine hair, and for my hair to get that volume in it, I have to use this Believe In. 
get about a quarter size. You can see that. It's very watery texture, but this is my favorite. One of my favorites. Let's rub it in. Over to my edges. It has a citrus smell to it, guys. Clean citrus smell. Put some water in my hair. And I told you with a Use a curl price is a learning curve. You have to use a lot of water. It's best to use this in the shower. But I like to deep clean, um, deep um, condition my hair out of the shower. Do everything up the shower, the shampoo, and then um, condition I do in the shower, and I deep cleanse out the shower, and I style out the shower because it allows me. Um, who wants to be in the shower all that time doing that? But. I get it done. I come to my vanity and that's what I do. Okay, that feels good. I look, I got it all the way through. Now, my favorite styler is the Super Cream. Let me tell you something. Diva Curl products are expensive, but they're worth every cent they cost. Um, this is the Super Cream um, creamer, coconut curl styler. I'm sorry, super cream coconut curl styler. It comes in this little st small container. I think this costs $28 at Ultra and on their Diva Curl um, website. Um, I've had this now for about two months and I've used it about six or seven times and it's about this much left. Because when it does, it goes up. Instead of coming down, it goes up. So I have this much left in my container. So you don't use a lot of this because if so, your hair will be looking kind of white and looking crazy. So you only use enough. I usually use two to three pumps on each this side, two to three pumps on this side, and two pumps up here. So I get like six or seven pumps out of my hair. So one, two, my two pumps. It's very creamy. You can see that. Oh, and it smells. It may smell like coconut. And yes, I am allergic to coconut. But this makes my hair feels amazing. And it's not touching my scalp. It's only on my hair. It doesn't clog my scalp. Because if you use the wash your hand, you're going to clog your scalp with a bunch of products. So I only try to do it on my hair and not my scalp. Look how it's raking through. Look at the definition. Look at that. And I have medium fine hair guys. Got low porosity hair. I'm like a 3C, 4A. There. And the last thing I use is my gel. I always use gel. I never do a wash and go without gel. Just some more water, because I say it. Gotta have it with Eva Curl products. And my favorite right now is the Archangel Gel. So there we go, Archangel Gel. Um, I've done had this about two months also. And I am here. I have only here and I've used this about a good 10 times so it really doesn't have to take a lot to use I try to use like a nickel size when I do do it and it's very watery base okay takes a lot but it melts right into your hair when you use it, it melts right into your hair that. Look at there, look at there, look at there. There we go. There we go. But guys, yeah, I am enjoying doing my videos. If you have any ideas or um, products you want me to review or things you want me to talk about, please put it in the comment box. 
I will try to um, do them. I am new at this. I am learning the YouTube lingo and um, what's allowed on YouTube and what is not allowed. Uh, I will say this, Diva Curl and Camille Rose is not sponsoring this uh, video. I bought my, I bought these products on my own, but they are my favorite products. Hey Divas, I'm back. I'm finally dry, 100% dry. I sat in the dryer for like 30 minutes and then I diffused it about 10 to 15 minutes and this is what I got. I will see the definition and the shine is there and um, I am loving my wash and go. Let me turn around so you can see the back. A lot of definition. It's so soft. Um, a lot of bounce to it. I use my pick to fluff it out some because it, you know, first day hair is always the worst day hair, but I love it even on first day. So in a few days, I should have bigger hair. And I love big hair. Uh, but yes, yeah, so it was a success for this. Uh, these are my favorite products. I never go wrong when I utilize the Diva Curl and the Camille Rose together. I always get great um, outcome when it comes to my wash and go. So. If you like this video, please hit like. If you would like to be notified the next time I put up um, videos, please hit the notification bell. And please subscribe and become a part of the Natural Mature One family. I'm glad that you are um, picking my videos, but I would love for you to subscribe and become a part of my family. Become one of my divas. Uh, also, I would like to... Um, try new different products please put down any kind of product you think I should try I really want to try these products and um, see how they work on my hair and soon I because wash and goes are my favorite 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 style natural hairstyle but I am going to try a twist out and if you know some great twist out creams um, or heavy butters that will help when it comes to definition because I know I'm going to need a heavy butter. Even though I have fine hair, I know I'm going to need that to keep the definition I want. Because I'm going to use a gel. No matter what, I'm going to use a gel. And my favorite gel is the Curl Maker by Camille Rose or the Eco Style, the um, Eco Style, um, is it Black Castor Oil, Flax Seed? I can't remember what the name, but yeah, that's it. Um, but I want to try a twist out soon. So please hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell when you want to notify the next video I have. And also, please comment and share anything you'd like to share with me. Thank you for coming back and looking at my videos. I love you. Remember to love hard, laugh often, and live in the moments. Smooches.